A major change when you pass through airport security. For the first time since 9-11, the TSA will allow some pocket knives on the plane. And 7 News reporter Jacqueline Allen live at DIA. And you discovered flight attendants feel it could put passengers and crew in harm's way. Starting at the end of next month, when you pass through security checkpoints like this one here at DIA, you'll be able to carry small knives like this one without being stopped. That has some worry that the new rules put efficiency over safety. Passing through DIA security is about to get easier. No longer will TSA confiscate piles and piles of pocket knives. What you're seeing is a maturity of the aviation security system. Metro State Aviation Professor Jeff Price says the change has been in the works for a while, but sequestration and the threat of long lines soon sped up the process. If we want to move the lines faster, let's reduce the amount of tiny little objects we're looking for and start looking for the larger real threat items. Here's the new rule. Some small knives will be allowed if the blade is less than 2.3 inches long and a half inch wide. Not allowed larger fixed blade or molded grip knives. These new rules also allow sporting equipment, for example, up to two golf clubs and novelty bats. But box cutters are still banned, experts say, because of the psychological connection to 9-11. It is a step backwards from the advances that we have made uh, since 9-11. Ken Kyle, head of the local United Flight Whatever Attendants Union, says out. there's more than a psychological connection. Pocket knives can be deadly, and allowing them on planes puts passengers and crew at risk. We believe that this is an impractical change, an unnecessary change. And that you won't have to mail home your pocket knives anymore. They'll have to change that sign. A lot of people we told about this wanted to know, what about shampoo? Can I carry on a knife but not shampoo? Well, we asked about that. Experts tell me that's a bomb threat, not a hijacking threat, but with new screening technology that can actually detect specific explosive liquids, it's likely we will see those rules change as well in the not-so-distant future. Reporting live at DIA, Jacqueline Allen, 7 News.